What's up, y'all? Out here at the rain still, as you can see behind me, we got one more jelly test I'm going to try to squeeze in out here before we call it a day. As you can see by the title, we headed back to the 9 millimeter. I'm sure it's probably the most popular carry option out there, so we're going to keep on trucking on these 9 millimeter tests for sure. What we're doing today is something that's a pretty popular round and has been for a very long time. As you can see, as usual, got the jelly contraption with the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now, I got several tests, well, not several, but a few different tests done in that far block, and I've got one in this close block on the back side so we should have plenty of room up front uh, but what we're doing as you see by the title is the good old spear gold dot like i said these are probably one of the most popular carry rounds and they have been for a very long time now there's a lot of new kids on the block but these gold dots are some of the og carry rounds i think everybody is familiar with these so what i'm gonna do here today is test out two different weights of them got the 124s gold dot hollow points just standard pressure and then we got the 115 same thing standard Standard pressure so 115 versus 124 in the spear gold dots now the tool we're using today again is the sig p365 the standard version with the three inch barrel uh, as y'all know if y'all watch my channel for any length of time this is my actual edc so this is a really popular barrel length for most people these days everybody's about these micro nines so i'm gonna start doing a lot more tests with these little micros this and the gx4 so three inch barrel 365 for the test today enough chit chatting let's see if we can outrun this sun going down let me get y'all set up we'll get started all right y'all let's get us some speeds on these things i'm gonna do a three round average on each one of these i've got right much of this so i don't have to be real skimpy with it but i still ain't getting too crazy so i'm gonna do a three round average we're gonna start out with the 115 grainers first see what we're moving on them here we go y'all 1178 1161 1165 let's check out that average all right so the three round average on the 115 grainers is 1168 feet per second so pretty happy with that so far let me get it reset and let's check out the 124s all right here we go with the 124s i'm definitely curious to see how much slower these are going to be i'll try to make note of any recoil difference too but for these snappy little micros it's kind of hard to tell the difference but let's see what kind of speed we're getting with the 124s y'all 1,056, 1,027, and 1,030. So let's check out that average. All right, so three round average on the 124s is 1,037. If you remember on that 115, it was 1,168. So you're talking about 131 feet per second difference. That's pretty significant. That's about 10% of the speed right there. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that does in the jail for sure. So let me get everything reset up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's gold dot jelly time. I don't have y'all backed up real far on the camera right there because I'm just calling it now. Both of these weights are going to expand beautifully. I got faith in them. Uh, these are some that I carried for a super long time. I still carry them sometimes in, in different tools here and there. So I got faith in these that they're going to perform well. So we're going to start with the 115ers, y'all, and see what they do. I'm going to try to put it on the left edge so y'all get a good view of it in the camera. Here we go. Alright, perfect shot. Let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, as y'all can see so far, absolutely beautiful expansion. I can already see even in that jail, uh, but we'll pull them, of course, and check them out. So one for one so far. Let's see if we can go two for two on this 124, y'all. Here we go. All right, should be good. I hope it didn't curve down. Let's go down there and check out what we got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. I can just tell you just by first glance, you cannot ask for more than what we're seeing right here out of a three inch nine millimeter. This is some absolute fantastic performance from both of these rounds. Now, the top one up here was the 115. You see it came in, really nice wound channel, really nice extension on that wound channel. I can already tell you it expanded completely and it looks like it's laying kind of sideways right here. So good expansion on it. Looks like it's about 13-ish. Uh, 13, 14, we'll measure here in a second. Uh, now, that being said, the 124 on the bottom went above and beyond. 
same really super nice wound channel uh wound channels are pretty comparable the 115 may be a tiny bit bigger it's really hard to tell they're almost exactly the same um now the 115 does stay larger for a little bit longer you can see the large portion of the 124 kind of stops there but now that being said it's still a, a nasty wound channel way on out to here and the projectile got some great expansion on it and absolutely fantastic penetration it actually peaked into this second block about a half of an inch maybe three quarters of an inch so you're talking about 16 and a half or so inches of penetration like i say we'll measure it here shortly but from what i'm seeing absolutely fantastic performance on both of these rounds so far as far as the penetration you're looking at 13 inches on the 115 on the top and then on the 124 like i say it peaked into that second block about three quarters of an inch so you're looking at 16 and three quarters of an inch of penetration out of that 124. That is absolutely fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic penetration. And even the first one, like I say, the way that thing expanded, both of these so far have, have performed absolutely fantastic. All right, y'all, let's get us some of this sweet projectile data that we love so much. Look at these babies right here, y'all absolutely fantastic now this is the 115 over here on the right you can see i mean you're talking about expansion there, there, there is no more expansion left in that thing absolutely fantastic expansion out of that 115 beautiful symmetrical all the pedals peel back i mean you, you can't ask for anything more out of expansion than that right there now that being said the 124 fantastic expansion on it as well now it's a bigger chunk moving a little slower so you didn't get as much mushrooming but absolutely fantastic completely adequate expansion on that very symmetrical on that also and you got a big old hunk of lead still behind that thing i mean these rounds are these are some of the best right here i mean these are right there with the hsts the v crowns i mean these are some fantastic fantastic rounds y'all um and i'll be honest with you my preferred weight a lot of people have asked me this in the comments 124 is my preferred weight i think 124 is the sweet spot when it comes to nine millimeter uh between penetration and expansion and I think that's the absolute magic number for a nine millimeter is the 124. So let's get some measurements on these things right quick. All right, we'll start with the 115. So obviously it started at 115, 114.3 on the 115. Now the 124, 123.7 on the 124 so neither one of these i can't see any shrapnel and all both of these retained all of their mass these are some just really fantastic performing rounds now as far as the size on them let's check out this big old fat 115 first here 0 0.60 0 0.612 0 0.61 so 0 0.6 0 0.61 on the 115 on the 124 you're looking at 0 0.526 0.53 and 0.527 so 0 0.52 0 0.53 off of that 124 so again in my opinion these things just did absolutely phenomenal i mean absolutely phenomenal um now personally i would take this 124 for sure you got the extra penetration on it and you still got plenty of expansion the wound channel is absolutely fantastic but either either one of these would absolutely do the job all right y'all there's another one in the books this one again went very smooth uh excellent data we got off of these excellent performance out of both of these rounds just another really good jelly test down like I said at the beginning, these gold dots are a tried and true. They've been around forever. A lot of people still carry these every single day. And I actually put these in my rotation as well. A lot of people ask me which rounds do I actually personally carry, which do I prefer. And I always talk about the HSTs, the V crowns and the Ranger T series. And I, I neglect to mention these, although they are in my rotation. As a matter of fact, when I came out here to empty the magazine to uh, do this test on with my 365, y'all know it's my carry. So I went to empty the magazine magazine and these actual 124 gold dots were what's been in this magazine for probably the last four months or so so the rounds i tested out here this 124 were the actual ones out of my everyday carry sig that's been in there for about four months now that being said the 115 also absolutely fantastic expansion great penetration on it fantastic wound channel either one of these rounds in my opinion are absolutely fantastic choices for a carry round 
Y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are down in the comments. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather have that extra penetration? Would you rather have that extra expansion? Let me know down in the comments what y'all's thoughts are. If you enjoy the video as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon down below so when I upload new videos, you can get notified and check them out. I really do appreciate that. Check my Amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description like I always ask. If you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first. It takes you right through Amazon like normal. No extra time, no extra money. And any Thing you buy anywhere on Amazon site after going through that link first I get a kickback from them towards the channel so I really appreciate that appreciate all my range game members who reached out and hit that join button that helps the channel and I thank y'all very much for that huge thanks as always to every single one of y'all who watch my channel who watch my videos who thumbs up who subscribe to the channel and leave me those comments down below I really do enjoy reading y'all's comments and hearing y'all's thoughts about this stuff this is gonna be the last one for today the sun's going down and the temperature's following it so I gotta run somewhere and find me some heat quick like but don't y'all worry because you know i'm gonna be right back out here with a whole nother batch of tests the next batch of tests after this one should be on brand new blocks of clear gel so it'd be nice and clear again we've got our money's worth out of these two for sure so i figured it was time to re-up on it so two brand new blocks of gel coming for the next batch of tests so make sure y'all stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon